Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, and welcome to the University of California Merced's virtual commencement. On behalf of the Academic Senate and the faculty, I congratulate all of you who have earned their doctoral, master's, and bachelor's degrees here at UC Merced. It has been an honor walking alongside you on your journey, and we hope you enjoy today's ceremony. At this time, I would like to introduce one of our graduates, Carlyn Coleman, who will be singing the national anthem. Enjoy. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. Good morning. I am Dr. Juan Sanchez Munoz, Chancellor of the University of California, Merced, and I welcome you all. Graduating students, family and friends, faculty and staff, and university well-wishers to our fall 2020 virtual commencement. Before we begin our ceremony, UC Merced would like to acknowledge our students who have put their university education on hold to serve in the U.S. Armed Forces. Also, in these times, we want to extend our gratitude to those students who have worked and will work on the front lines battling the coronavirus pandemic in public health, public safety, education, and so many other professions whose great service to society has become even more critical. The greatest joy we have in the academic profession is to guide our students as they learn, grow, graduate, and move through their lives. So many outstanding faculty members have taught and mentored you right up to this day and will, I hope, have a firm place in your hearts and minds throughout the rest of your lives. I would like us to recognize these brilliant educators and researchers for their commitment to excellence and for imparting their knowledge and love of learning to the graduates we are celebrating today. Members of the UC Merced faculty, thank you. Graduating students, congratulations and welcome to our commencement ceremony. Today is a day to focus on your success. Today we celebrate you, our graduates, and look ahead to your bright futures. Today you graduate from one of the greatest campuses of the greatest university systems in the world, the University of California, Merced. Family and friends, I'd like to take a moment to recognize all of you for the role you have played in making this achievement possible. Your support has been essential, and I encourage our graduates to reach out and thank all of those who have helped them along their journeys. To our graduating students, you are all pioneers, helping us build a culture of inquiry, discovery, and learning that will last for generations. You have persevered through challenges and overcome obstacles, never more so than during this year of the pandemic, and you leave UC Merced more prepared than ever to succeed in your career and in your lives. You are going out to contribute to a world that desperately needs your ideas, your problem solving, your passion, and your willingness to explore, create, and innovate. Some of you came to UC Merced with doubts to overcome, with competing priorities and challenges in your life, but you did not lose faith in your abilities or in the belief that you had something important to accomplish. 
Our incredible undergraduates have seen their lives transformed and their futures opened wide by this achievement of a UC degree that is a signal achievement in California and indeed the world. Just look at what you have accomplished. PhD students stood on the shoulders of giants to further human understanding. Master students gained the professional depth to add great value to any environment they choose. The intelligence and determination you brought to and amplified on our campus and in our community will continue to serve you throughout your lives. Whatever your next step is, embrace the intrepid Bobcat spirit that is emblematic of the UC Merced experience. My official role today as chancellor, and indeed my great honor, is to congratulate each of you on behalf of the entire UC Merced community. And so it is with heartfelt joy for you and your loved ones and with great hope for the future that I say again, congratulations and go Bobcats. And now it is my privilege to introduce alumnus Ish Verdusco, who will be delivering our keynote address. Ish graduated from UC Merced in 2014 with a bachelor's degree in management. He developed hands-on experience at UC Merced by organizing numerous concerts and speaking engagements and activities. Upon graduation, he worked in social media and marketing roles at both LinkedIn and Snap Inc., the parent company of Snapchat. This past fall, he became director of growth and marketing for Los Angeles-based Crave It, which is developing a search tool for favorite ethnic and regional food. We are proud to call Ish an alumnus of UC Merced and are grateful that he will be delivering our keynote address today, followed by messages of congratulation from several special guests. Hello everyone, my name is Ish Verdusco and I'm from the graduating class of 2014. I'm a first generation college graduate, originally from Los Angeles, and I come from a super humble Mexican American family. I currently serve as a director of growth and marketing at a social media food startup called Crave It, and I couldn't be more excited to speak with you all today. When I first found out that I'd have a chance to speak with you all, virtually I guess, I immediately started working on this speech. But after a couple of minutes, I couldn't help but find myself in a moment of really deep reflection on my life, my career, and how things have turned out since graduating. You see, UC Merced is where I've built some of the strongest relationships in my life. People who I still call my best friends to this day. We've helped each other land jobs, celebrate major life wins, and even lift one another up when we've hit rock bottom along the way. UC Merced is where I've learned so much of what has gotten me to where I am today. Yes, the schoolwork helped, but a lot of this had to do with other things like building community, starting organizations, planning events, and being the first to do something at a 21st century university, all of which I'm forever grateful for. UC Merced is where I will always call home. I recently had a chance to see the campus after not visiting for years at a time, and I kid you not, I still felt like a freshman walking up the hill like I never left. I think what makes UC Merced so special is that our students and our alumni truly are different. You see, we come from extremely hardworking families who sacrifice so much for us to have these better opportunities in our lives. We come from super humble beginnings that have taught us how to be grateful. And we come from a smaller school compared to other universities, but this has taught us how to be creative, resourceful, and diligent with what we have. After working at some of the world's most innovative tech companies like LinkedIn and Snapchat, I've learned that what makes us different as Bobcats actually makes us better in a lot of ways. I've worked alongside Harvard grads, Berkeley grads, MIT grads, and tons of Stanford grads. Trust me when I say that these differentiating factors are what will be your superpowers throughout your entire careers. So please don't lose track of who you are and where you come from. Next, I'd like to offer three pieces of advice as you embark on this postgraduate journey. First thing to remember, your network is your net worth. The people who you've had class with, partied with, pulled all-nighters with, to cram for those exams, of course, are the people who are going to be there for you in the coming years. 
And especially now that the world of work is a little bit different due to COVID, I believe that by keeping in contact with one another and sticking together, then you all will flourish into amazing professionals. Second piece of advice, don't stop learning. I cannot stress this one enough. Do not stop learning. This one sounds a little bit off though, right? You just spent some of the best years of your life knee deep in mountains of books, learning, and now is the time to focus on work, right? Wrong. I recently published a book in which I studied over 930 hours of research on how some of the world's most successful people achieve their goals. And there's one commonality that I found amongst all of them. And it's that the best of the best do not stop learning. Because you see, once you've adopted a life of continuous learning, then there isn't anything you can't do. But it starts with an open mind and a willingness to learn. Lastly, this one sounds cliche, so please try not to roll your eyes. I know this is virtual, but I can feel it already through the camera. Last one, have fun and enjoy what you do. Don't be afraid to switch careers just because it may not be something that you studied in college. If you enjoy doing it and it provides value to a company, then go for it. And if a company is not willing to hire you for that specific job, then start your own company and hire your friends. How do you think companies like Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat got started? At least your company is going to launch with some diversity woven into it. That's for damn sure. In closing, I'd like to share a little bit of self-talk that I use throughout my life constantly. And it goes a little something like this. Just because people like me or like us don't normally work in a particular industry or do a particular job or have done a particular job in the past, doesn't mean that I or we can't do it. Si se puede. Remember that. Because you see, this self-talk and sort of confidence in a way has helped me exponentially grow in an industry that represents only about 5% Latinos, people who look like me. This self-talk and confidence has helped me be the first in my family to publish a book. It has helped me be somebody who's, pub who's started his own companies and even tour the US as a DJ. This self-talk and confidence has helped me achieve some of my most ambitious goals. And I really hope it'll help you all as well. So congratulations, Bobcats. I'm super proud of you all, and I can't wait to see how you will leave your mark on the world. Let's get it. Congratulations to the UC Merced class of 2020. I join your families, friends, and the entire University of California community in celebrating you and your incredible achievements. I wish we could mark this occasion together in person, but your accomplishments in reaching this goal stand nonetheless. We are all so very proud of you. You are part of a special, resilient group of students who persevered and made the most out of college life during a global pandemic. You navigated the virtual classes, you passed your exams, you overcame the financial, mental, and physical obstacles this year as presented, all in pursuit of your college degree. Nelson Mandela once said that education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Today, you join a network of 2 million UC alumni across the globe who are using their education and experiences to make the world better and a more equitable place for all. We're thrilled that today you join their ranks. With graduates like you as our future leaders, I know the future is bright. Congratulations again, Bobcats, and fiat looks. Let there be light. When I was thinking of what I should say to help celebrate commencement, I ran across this quote from composer Jimmy Dunn, who wrote UC's Merced's alma mater, My Merced. He said, you can't walk UC Merced's campus without being overwhelmed by the passion and will in the eyes of the extraordinary students. Today proves that you don't actually have to even be on campus to see that passion and that will. To the extraordinary students graduating today, congratulations. You are graduating in challenging times to be sure, but also at a time when better days appear to be coming. While I know the extraordinary circumstances of this past year don't define you or your achievements at Merced, I do hope that those circumstances help make you realize and appreciate your own strength and resilience. Those qualities, 
along with your passion and your will, will be invaluable to you on the path ahead. As the chair of the UC Board of Regents, I'm proud that UC Merced Star shines increasingly bright, and yours does too. Students at UC Merced share a unique bond with our campus and with the campus community. Hold on to that. Keep being part of the UC Merced community and the broader UC community. You will make excellent ambassadors for our mission and can help others succeed as you've succeeded. UC's motto is Fiat Lux, or let there be light. We are all very proud of you as you continue on your journey to take that light and share it with the world. Congratulations and go Bobcats. At this time, I would like to introduce graduate Shaoling Chen, who commonly goes by Harry, a double major in applied mathematics and physics, who was selected to be our student speaker for today's ceremony. Harry, who hails from Shanghai, China, has interned at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, served as president of the University Society of Physics Students, and tutored fellow students in math and physics. He has been recognized as a Dean and Chancellor's Honor student, and we look forward to hearing from him as he addresses his fellow classmates. Welcome, fellow graduates, professors, distinguished guests, friends, and families. I'm honored and humbled to speak on the behalf of my graduating class. Today, I would like to reflect on our experiences at UC Merced and look into the future. Remember clearly your first day on campus. We wandered around it without a sense of direction. We were lost, but we were lost together. In the first semester, we walked into the wrong class, slept through the class time, and accidentally set off the fire alarm in the cafeteria. Over time, we got the hang of college. We stopped being confused by COB1 and COB2, or SNE1 and SNE2. We learned to handle the stress of the midterm and finals. And because of it, many of us adopted horrible sleeping schedules. Slowly but surely, we fall in love with Merced, despite the food in the cafeteria. As the university expanded, we have grown up with it. To many of us, you see Merced is no longer just a school. It is a friend and a companion. It has struggled with us, rejoiced with us, and most importantly, it pushed us to be our best. I remember 3 a.m. at Lincoln Cafe. Shock and comfort to see many of you hard at work. I remember the brilliant after-dinner intellectual discourses with friends. I also remember all of us rushing at 11 p.m finishing assignments right before midnight. They shared experiences, creating separate bonds between us and prepared us for the uncertainty of the future. COVID has impacted our life on many different levels, even personal ones. As families and friends feel ill or unable to gather safely together, Less than a year ago, graduating online was uncommon. But today, we find ways to celebrate and to cherish. Even though we are all over the world, we have never been so connected. Together, we also saw clearly the darkness in our society. Climate change, lack of diversity, equality, and police brutality to name just a few. Those problems has made our future even more ambiguous, but we shall remain hopeful because of one another. We have the passion, the work ethic, and the empathy. We share joys, struggles, and success. Among us, there are the world next leading researchers and doctors, poets and philosophers political leaders and social workers, artists and engineers. Individually, 
will create a bright future for ourselves and our families. Collectively, we will build a better world. As my favorite poet, Dylan Thomas said, we will not go gentle into that good night. Instead, we will rage, rage against the dying of the light. We will work with everything we have, our education, our courage, our skills, and our strong sense of purpose. Thank you and congratulations to my fellow graduates. I'm filled with hope. I thank each and every one of you. Graduating students, I echo Chancellor Munoz in congratulating you and wishing you the very best for your future. As you may know, the very word graduation comes from the Latin word gradus, a step. Today marks a very important step in your life's journey, but it is only a step. You will take many more steps after this, perhaps work, perhaps more education, perhaps starting or nurturing a family, perhaps joining the armed forces, perhaps dedicating yourself to community service. The world before you is more full of possibilities because you have pursued higher education. The other term for today's ceremony is commencement, and this too is important to notice. It comes from the Latin word for beginning. Today is not an end, but a beginning. Today, you commence on your journey. And now the formalities of this commencement begin. The dean of your school or of the graduate division will formally bestow degrees in course. I wish you well on your next step and the steps beyond that. Please commence with the conferral of degrees. Thank you, Provost Camfield. I too congr congratulate you on this auspicious occasion. I speak for all the faculty of the School of Social Sciences, Humanities and Arts in saying we are proud of you, of all that you have accomplished and all that you will accomplish in the future. The beginning statue holds a place of pride on our campus for a reason. When you arrive at UC Merced, you begin an educational experience second to none. When you graduate, you begin again, stepping beyond the campus to a world that awaits your passion, your brilliance, and your courage. But it's also a great beacon calling to our alumni and welcoming them back home, for this is your home, wherever you go and whatever you do. Your faculty will hold you in their thoughts and their hearts and your successes will always be a great source of pride for those of us who were able to help you along the way. Thank you for joining us on this stage of your life's journey and the very best of luck to you in the future. Hello and congratulations, graduates. We have come to the moment you and your loved ones have been waiting for, the conferral of your degrees. Chancellor Munoz, I am honored to present the candidates who have qualified in all respects for their doctoral or master's degrees from the School of Social Sciences, Humanities, and Arts. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Regents of the University of California, I confer upon you your doctoral and master's degree with all the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. Congratulations. Ashley Caroline Baker Dickison Brian Batsloff Patrice Renee Cobb Eunice Hernandez Catherine Aria Herzog Maria de Jesus Mora Iceland Brenna Beam Abigail Bolter Ahmed Correa Manuel de Jesus Duenas Garcia Geraldi Martin Gutierrez Iceman Anais Guillam Botavens Mede James Zachary Sullivan Amy Thompson Michelle Turitz Mitchell
Congratulations to our newest PhD and master's degree recipients. At this time, we will proceed with the conferral of the baccalaureate degrees. Chancellor Munoz, I am honored to present the baccalaureate degree candidates from the School of Social Sciences, Humanities, and Arts. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Regents of the University of California, I confer upon you your baccalaureate degree with all the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. Congratulations. Maria Guadalupe Aboites. Lucina Isabel Aguilar. Jessica Aguirre de la Cueva. Kyla Patricia Zunga Agostin. Ariel Ann Faustino Alacon. Juan Carlos Alberto. Jesus Amador Aldaco. Eliana Rebecca Alfaro. Carrie Rose Allen. Ariana Almansa Aragin. Aldo Alvarez. Daniela Alvarez Hernandez. Cassandra Celine Arce. Sydney Justice Avalos. Jason Fauni Baltazar. Brianna Barajas. Maritere Baranda. James Brian De La Cruz Bayodan. Angel Beltran. Carly Ann Joy Beltran. Judea Samaria Bernales Velasquez. Chamanjit Kaur Binning. Alma Isabel Bogarin. Drake Alden Brandon. Nels Fuller Brownell Jr. Alexia Sandrea Bruce. Ryan Edward Booker. James C. Bunton IV. Isabella Mercedes Caballero. Sandy Ibeth Caballero. Monica Calderon. Jade Nguyen Nyok Cao. Nancy Alejandra Caraveo Infante. Reina Karen Casildo Abad. Juan Carlos Castillo. Casey Castillo. Pedro Jesus Castillo Zamaripa. Ilse Vanessa Chapa. Japbir Sheena. Lily Chun. Evelyn Azucena Contreras. Ashley Cortez. Taylor Nicole Costa. Joy Sarah Cox. Catherine Ann Crenshaw. Valentina Iris Kivir. Alec James Davenport. Oscar Davila. Chloe Adriana de Guzman. Alexander Edward Del Toro. Cullen Abramo Delvina. David Delgado. Tammy Vu Do. Tanvir Dosanj. Cedric Maurice Dunlap Jr. Rafael Howard Durr. Nuntawi Lucia Espinosa. Thomas Andemeskel Ayo. Paul Tyler Feldman. Joshua Miguel Viarin Feliciano. Priscilla Maria Fernandez. Yoiselin Celeste Franco. Chase Marcus Frederick Sr. Carla Renee Galvez. Brian Garcia. Magdalena Garcia. 
Nareda Garcia, Esteban Garcia Arellano, Brian Raul Giron Deras, Helena Renee Gonzalez, Jocelyn Gonzalez de la Torre, Omar Guerrero, Jacqueline Gutierrez, Roberto Gutierrez Bravo, Jose Antonio Guzman, Jonathan Ha, Emily Elizabeth Hagen, Tamara Pamela Harrell, Lynn He, Sierra Jade Henderson, Jocelyn J. Enriquez Reyes, Christian Alejandro Hernandez, Vanessa Hernandez, Adriana Abigail Hernandez Ejufragio, Alitzel Hilario, Chao Huang, Wendell Alexander Hollis III, Sabrina Hossein, Beatrice Katrina Anais Howell, Maya Joe Hurtado, Mirna S. Ibarra, Sebastian Francesco Iriarte, Marilyn Sarai Hakome, Alexis Marie Jones, Dominique Juarez, Savrine Kaur, Sammy Gassan Cotter, Elijah Lewis Keith Kirton, Evan Joseph Klang, R.T. Kumar, Smita Kumar, Yuk Ching Law, Ini Lee, Paku Grace Lee, Ramon Lemus Lopez, Meredith Ann Leonardo, Xin Shi Liu, Cassie Leanne Lopez, Miriam Janet Lopez Diaz, Edgar Eduardo Lopez Nava, Kennedy Ariella Lucas, Kevin Luong, Paulo Cesar Macedonio, Amira Ali Madrashi, Jody Carey Mar, Marcelina Guadalupe Mariano, Laura Estela Mateo Gallegos, Brescia J. Matus, Emily Ann McCall, Tere S. McCullough, Sofia Medina Maureen, Tomas Mejorado, Jacqueline Lizette Mendez, Armando Mendieta Hernandez, Natalie Ashley Mendoza, Melissa Giselle Menendez, Stephanie Sue King Minimo, Marisol Miramontes, Angelina Genevieve Mirasu, Joshua Nathaniel Mireles, Aldo Giovanni Monte Sanchez, Alma Leticia Morales Alejandre, Walter E. Moran Medina, Jonathan Noe Moreno, Lawrence Arthur Morgan III, Jennifer Nehomi Mascoso Lara, Cassandra Amici Mua, Melanie Morga, Alejandra V. Morillo, Nicole Alexis Nichols, Angel Alexander Nunez, 
Emily Ann Pace. Roberto Emmanuel Parada. Guadalupe Anahi Para. Akash Vinod Patel. Javier Ray Patino. Yvette Paz. Isabel Victoria Pistrup. Casey Eileen Pena. Evelyn Pena. Michelle Perez. Victor Roy Peterson. Esmeralda Ponce. Danielle Renee Powell. Karu Jerez Prince. Miguel Angel Puga. Athena Victoria Polito. Angelo Kiambao. Robin Rahil. Duke Ramirez. Jamie Hilomen Ramos. Jose Salvador Ramos. Cameron Shan Ravendran. Edwin Reyes Ibarra. Bo Reyes Soar. Heidi Cheyenne Marie Rhodes. Guillermo Rivas Jr. Mary Cruz Adriana Rivas. Thomas Armando Rivas. Jordan Lamar Robinson. Alexander Rodriguez. Antonio Rodriguez. Oriana Rodriguez. Samuel Gutierrez Romo. Guadalupe Rosas. Evelyn Ashley Ruiz. Lebni David Sagastume. Mariah Christine Sanabria. Brenda Elizabeth Sanchez. Kevin Manfredo Sanchez Jeronimo. Jasmine Anaí Santos Perez. Hannah Nicole Sarnoff. Sarah Elizabeth Sarquiz. Samantha Rachel Shapiro. Navkiran Kaur Sidhu. Carlos Silva Lopez. Shelby Lee Sindelar. Desmir Roland Smith. Jasmanjeet Singh Sodi. Brooke Nicole Spurlock. Alexandra Marie Stone Macias. Lauren McKinley Taylor. Mai Yer Tao. Tenille Rosalind Thomas. Alondra Trujillo. Toa Kim Truong. Christina Udo. Andrew Jonathan Valdez. Joshua Victor Valdez. Manny Valentina. Mirna Valenzuela. Alejandra Velasquez. Denise Vera Hernandez. Emilia Vergara. Cecilia Renee Viegas. Jamie Sakai Watson. Andrew Kenneth Williams. Courtney Danielle Williams. Heather Bao Han Wong. Justin Michael Wong. Cassandra Amanda Ibarra. Kevin Yi. Alex Robin Yi. Hai Ching Yu. Diego Zamora Salazar. Alex Zendejas. 
Victoria Sabina Suniga, Jennifer Alondra Zaragoza, Congratulations to all of those who earned their doctoral, master's, and baccalaureate degrees. At this time, I would like everyone to join me in the turning of the tassel. It is a long-standing tradition that after receiving a post-secondary degree, the tassel on your cap is shifted from the right side to the left side of the cap. At this time, I ask that our graduates please rise and transfer the tassel from the right to the left, physically or metaphorically, to signify your transition from candidate to graduate. Congratulations to the newest graduates of the University of California, Merced. And thank you, families and friends, faculty and staff, for joining our graduates to mark this momentous occasion. We are proud of your time at UC Merced, and I hope you recognize how much you have left your mark at this institution and on all of us here. And we hope that your journey will bring you back here to Merced and your alma mater frequently to reconnect with old friends and make new ones and share the successes you will undoubtedly create throughout your life. Bobcats, we salute you. Go forth and make the world a better place. Hey Bobcats, we are so proud of you and wish you the best in the next steps of your journey. Go class of 2020, congratulations, woohoo! Congratulations, graduates. This is a really exciting time uh, and a really huge accomplishment. Uh, so congratulations once again on graduating. Congratulations to the fall 2020 graduates from the School of Natural Sciences at UC Merced. Go Bobcats, go School of Science, good for you. Muchas felicidades a todos ustedes y a sus familias. Les deseo todo lo mejor. Congratulations, graduates. You've done it. Be proud of yourself. The next stop on your exciting life journey might be the moon. From the Merit Writing Program. Congratulations, class of 2020. We wish you all the best. Warmest congratulations. You have overcome unique and unanticipated challenges in reaching this milestone. May your future accomplishments be many. May every day bring you joy and may lifelong learning always be one of your goals. Dear graduating class of fall 2020, congratulations on this tremendous achievement. Wherever life may take you, I'm sure you'll look back upon your days at UC Merced with happiness and use the memories as a source of strength and motivation to propel you towards even greater things in life. Years from now, when people ask you, what was it like living through the pandemic of 2020? You'll have the best answer of all. You'll be able to say, 2020 was the year I graduated from college. Congratulations, you did it. I wish you best of luck in your next steps. Here's to you and your resiliency and dedication and all that led to this amazing accomplishment. Congratulations. You did it. Congratulations. It's a great accomplishment and I'm so impressed with how well you and all of my students have done during this pandemic. It's amazing. Congratulations. Just wishing all the fall graduates a wonderful commencement. Very proud of you all. And I know you're going to go out there and do amazing things in this world. Fall 2020 graduates, congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. You guys are living through extraordinary times and we expect extraordinary things of you. Recuerden siempre que en el puro año de 2020, Ustedes lograron algo que nadie había logrado nunca. Felicitaciones por su heroico esfuerzo. Estamos orgullosos de ustedes. Congratulations, class of 2020. We believe in you. Now go out there and change the world. Congratulations, graduates. Go Bobcats. Some of you graduating this fall have been in my class recently, and I just want to say that I'm very proud of you. And also, never forget that the sky is the limit. Class of 2020, congratulations on such an important accomplishment. We're facing unprecedented times and your resilience, hard work, and determinations have made you a very extraordinary class. Congratulations again and best wishes in your future endeavors. Congratulations, Nancy Bobcats. I wish that we could uh, be in person and I could see you walking through the beginnings 
uh, sculpture and tree one in person. So even though graduation ceremony is virtual, your degree is real. Congratulations and good luck, class of 2020. We all look forward to being able to congratulate you in person, but are so proud of all you've done. Congratulations, Bobcats. We're so proud of you, class of 2020. Go into the world and do well, but more importantly, go into the world and do good. Congratulations, class of 2020. Your hard work and resilience got you to where you are today. I am immensely proud of you, and I'm looking forward to the change that you're gonna to bring to our world. Go out and get them.